my dear people let us look at this particular problem which is a variation of the first one that we saw so here we have a block of ice that is 50 cm yeah 50 cm on all sides or a block a cube of ice that is 50 cm and uh, we have been given the density as well density of the ice is commented to be 970 kilogram per meter cube yeah and it is floating in fresh water a pool of fresh water it is floating in a pool of fresh water of 1000 kilogram per meter cube we are asked to find what is the buoyancy force and also what is the mass of this ice it's again a very very simple problem yeah so we know from the formula buoyancy force fb equals to the density of liquid in this case the density of liquid is water so it is 1000 kilogram per meter cube minus the density of the object the density of object here is ice 970 yeah times gravity times the volume volume of what volume of the ice I'll, all that I'm doing is that I'm just substituting all the values that we have. So if I substitute it, I get the answer to be 36.78 Newton. So that is the force, yeah, the buoyancy force. So we know already that the ice is going to float. The reason is the density of the object here, the ice was less than the density of the water thousand yeah so we knew it is going to float and what is the next thing we have to find the mass of ice that is even simpler yeah how we know that density is mass by volume so mass equals density times volume so i'm just substituting everything that we know mass of ice equals the density times the volume if i substitute the values i get 970 times 50 centimeter times 50 centimeters times 50 centimeters which is 50 centimeter cube yeah and if i put it all in i get the mass of the ice to be 121.25 kilogram this is the mass of the ice that i get yeah so it is a very heavy block of ice so don't carry it huh? <laughs> bravo